Welcome back to the Craig Arndt channel. Well, today we're working on the wheel horse. What we're doing is we're going to take the blade off, get this thing ready to mow lawn, to cut grass. And here we got our deck is over there, but before I show you the deck, look at the backyard. I don't know if you can tell that there's some giant, there's some one foot tall piles of mounds of grass out there. That's from Diesel and Maddie. The front's not as, not as bad. So here, I'm gonna take a look at the deck. I scraped off last year's grass. Didn't have a lot. I usually try to take care of it as best I can. Yep, they got a little rot hole there, which we knew about. Um, but the blades look like they're in good shape. Just a little spot up there. I'll take that, take that off. Blades look like they're they got an edge from last year, but they're coming off. And I got another set that I'm going to put on, and then we'll sharpen these. So take those off. I'm using a one and an eighth, one and an eighth, one and an eighth socket, and the Astro 1822. <laughs> Love this impact. You could use a regular battery powered if you wanted, but this does a great job. There we go. Don't forget your washer. A washer on each one. A little bit of corrosion, but not bad. We'll get our new ones. Put those on. Sharpen blades. I sharpen them when I get done using them. So the ones I just took off, I'll get those sharpened after I get done with the lawn later today. Now with this one, that seems to work the best. There we go. So before we do any greasing, we gotta get this blade off because I've got some grease circs underneath here that I gotta get taken care of. So remove that pin. This I just walk out of here. Like so take it out. This wire, this is what when you grab the lever, it pulls on another rod. Pulls the pin out so you can angle the blade. Simple, real simple design, but works well. I put my nut back in there. Now we gotta go in the back. We gotta drop it in the back. So I'll show you that. Okay, here in the back, we've got the uh, rear hitch. This is a separate hitch. I really like it in tow. I actually use this, as many of you have seen, as uh, my weights. So I put a hitch in here and then I put my couple uh, rotors from uh, when I had to do the brakes. So I get another 40 pounds or so back here. That works really good. I'm missing a pin. One fell out. But you'll have two pins, two short pins. That side's missing. Um, before we drop this down, we gotta do one other thing. So what you wanna do, lift up your choke, lift up your throttle. You're gonna have four screws on either side. We're gonna remove that. Take this little access panel out here. Let's see if I can get you to stay. You know, for the longest time, I was crawling up underneath the tractor and trying to access I get my hand shoved up there to get the hitch pin in there put in place and the one, I don't know where I saw it or if I just did it. I think I just did it, had it off and I'm like, that's where you're supposed to access this. So we'll take this off. Oops, try not to move you guys. 
So four screws, Phillips. Oops, there was my screwdriver. There's my panel. It's also where you're gonna access if you need to. Valve, hydraulic valve, we'll just go with that. Now down here, you can't you can turn the light on. You could see it, but right there, that's where my lever is, my bar, and my pin. So I'm gonna pull the pin, and then this bar will fall right out. And I'll pull the pin on this side, I'll take this right out. So I'm just gonna reach in there, pull my pin, Pull this out. Well, let's get on the other side. Pull my pin down here. There's that. And here's my down pressure bar. Next step, we need our chain. The chain is what's going to lift the deck. So I keep it here. And there it is. So this is going to go in to the trunnion and that is going to attach to the deck. So I'll get that put in starting at the top. All right, there's our chain. This is our deck lift. So this chain and nut is going to fit right here into this bar. Lift that up like that, just to get that out of the way. Then we're going to drop those hooks in the back. Okay, I get my jack here when I install it, but usually if you just pull, that's all it takes. Let's drag this puppy out. take this panel off. There's our valve where we were just at. Oh, it looks like we had a visitor. Uh-huh. Had a visitor. So here's our trunnion that we just hooked up our chain. And then there's our steering gear. And what you can't see is to the left, right there, should be our grease fitting. Let me blast that out and see what it looks like. Let's take it back here. hand in there. Yep, feels like a grease fitting. Feels like a loose grease fitting too. A lot of stuff going on. It's a real tight fit, but we'll see if we can get that. Let's see if you can see that now. There it is. There she is. Alright. We're going to put our Fitting on there and load that up with grease. See if I can get you in there. We're locked on. Boy, one handed. I mean, this. Go get yourself a lock and loop. I'll put a link. I got a. I got mine from Amazon. Go get yourself one. They are fantastic. So we're gonna. There it comes, see that? Fresh grease. Oh yeah, love it. Yeah, a lot of people don't know that there is a grease zerk living down in there. And that grease zerk probably sees absolutely no work. So you wanna make sure. Take off that side panel right here. And uh, if you have a 417, a 413, 520 for 16 you got one so make sure you take that off and get down there and grease it it's sure a heck of a lot easier if you got a lock and lube they don't sponsor me but 
I just love the product. And we're putting grease in here and we're doing that with the lock and lube, of course. Don't buy the Chinese knockoffs. Do not do that. Do not buy that stuff. There we go, we're coming out the top. So we're good. Now, this is made in the USA. Let me get some grease off there. I'm sorry, I'm not even there. Clamp it on. One handed operation. Okay. Pushing out all that old grease. And get down here. Really works good for down little locations like this. And we're looking for it to shoot out the front. You hear it? grease circ right there. I don't know if you, know, you can see that but the grease is coming out so they're good there. All right so we've got pretty much all our grease circs um, except for the deck so let's get that deck going. All right you want to make sure you get your covers off and clean out all the crud. This was packed just after a year. Compressed air is fine. Put some stuff in there. Well, inspecting this, I've also seen some checking here. Oh, we're moving. Yeah. I did see another split in this right there. So we're going to cut with this, we'll see if it fails, I mean that's a heavy duty split but it's it's been there, probably was there all the last year because I don't remember cleaning this out last year. Um, so we've greased the Zerks and I wiped them all down, put about, oh I don't know, three or four pumps. I pump until I hear um, it coming out the, coming out the spindle underneath. The other thing you want to do is you want to inspect these pulleys. Oh, you want to look for wear and rust. One of these I replaced several years ago. All looking pretty good. Um, oh, you know what I replaced? I replaced this. This is an idler. This is an idler pulley. All of these uh, I have not replaced. Um, so, and I think they're cast, If I, yeah, these are cast as well. Cast aluminum, I believe, no, they're steel, but they're cast. They should last a long time. Expect the idlers to wear. We're gonna put the covers back on. All right, this next thing is a step you're not gonna have, most of you will not have, but years ago for Christmas, my wife bought me a hitch, front hitch, from Wheel Horse Parts and More. And it has, it's really well made, quarter inch thick steel. And it's got this little tong, tang if you will, at the back that fits up on a bolt that I keep, I keep in there. I tend to screw this up every year, but it goes on as one piece. So it fits on the front mule drive. I like to do. Take this off. Pull our pin. We're gonna have to put our deck belt or our PTO belt on this side of here. Is pull this. 
This is your, you have a break up here. I took mine off. Um, I don't really use it or need it, but I'll show you in here. Inside here is a bunch of it's, uh, bearings, needle bearings. So you wanna, mine look really good because I keep them, keep them greased. But you wanna make sure you get in there and you pack all of these needle bearings with grease. I'm actually gonna put a little bit more in there. Yeah, it's good and greased, but I'll put just a little bit more and touch it up. lift the deck up so that the the rod is up so I can clear it want well, to make sure your your arm your wheels are at their lowest point sometimes that helps to turn the steering wheel Open up a little window there. More. Slide around in. see that arm it's got a long pin it's got a shaft you want to make sure that goes through that opening and that's what's gonna lift that's what's gonna lift you up actually yep there you go all right so then you open up this part here that holds up line up this do it with a, I need two hands to do it. But let's show you. There's a there's a catch right there, and it goes straight up. And at this point, usually what I do, I'll line everything up, make sure it's gonna go up correctly, and I'll start the tractor and let it pull it up for me. So let's do that. Come on now. to do it. Just have to line it up and throw that throw that in. And then you want to stick a pin in there. There we go. And that my friends is how you put the deck on your wheel horse 520 or your 416 or 308 or 310. They're all the same pretty much. Uh, hopefully you learned something today, some of the hidden little grease zerks that are down in that little, uh, under, under that little panel, access panel. And uh, maybe this will make it a little bit easier for you to put your deck on and off as well as some other implements. Hit that like button and uh, subscribe to this channel if you haven't. I'm gonna get gone, I gotta get that long cut. So uh, thanks a lot for watching everybody and we'll see everybody in the next video.